Hey guys, it's Lala. Welcome back to my channel. So a few of you said you wanted to see how I made my crab pasta salad. So I'm going to show you. This time I did take the easy way out and I bought two of these Betty Crocker Suddenly Salads, the bacon and ranch. So I did buy two of those and this is the pasta that comes in them. And they each have like a seasoning packet. I don't know if I'm going to use these yet or not. You're also going to need two of the imitation crab here, packets of that. And you can get real crab if you want, but I went ahead and used imitation. You can't really tell the difference when it's mixed in. Um, two, I'm using two mini um, sweet peppers, some cheese cubes. I have a can of black olives. Um, over here I have one whole sweet onion that's already been chopped up. And I also have two boiled or two eggs on the stove. So as you can see here, I have two eggs in the water. I'm turning them on now to boil them. So once those boil, then I'll be able to use those. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and just chop up these little um, peppers, cut up my crab meat and open my olives. And then when I'm done with that, I'll be back. Okay. So as you see here, do not mind. This is Greg's favorite cutting board for vegetables. I hate it, but um, have chopped up my sweet peppers. I didn't use a lot of them. They're more for color since this is our Memorial Day cookout for work. It's more of like um, a, I want it to have a summery look. I took my can of whole olives and I sliced them in half. And I took my crab meat and I chopped that all up. My eggs are done boiling. They're still, you know, sitting in the pot getting hard. I have come over here and I have a pot of water on the stove. I've already added some olive oil. Whoops, sorry. That's what you see this is. So my pasta doesn't stick together. I'm now going to pour in both bags of my pasta. There's one bag. It's hard doing this with one hand. Here's the second bag. stirred and mix my oil, oil into my water with my pasta. I'm going to let it boil until it's, you know, however you like your pasta. If you want it softer, if you want it al dente, you just cook it till it's tender. And when that's done boiling, I will be back. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and boiled the pasta and drained it. So we're going to put it here into this bowl. And since I did kind of go the easy way this time and I bought the, Birdie, the Betty Crocker pasta salad, with that you're going to use mayonnaise. So I think it said two tablespoons for each box. So I just kind of eyeball it. So I do one. I'm going to do four of these because there's a lot of stuff. So it does take, I'm going to actually do five. It does take a little bit of mayonnaise. I am going to use these seasoning packets, so I'm going to go ahead and dump those in. Use both of them for each box. Then you're going to just stir it and mix it all together. Again, if you want to measure your mayonnaise, you can. I have used this stuff enough times where I can just kind of eyeball it. You want to make sure you get all your powder seasonings mixed up, so make sure you scrape the bottom. Mix it really good. Next, I'm going to come in with my crab meat, and I'm just going to put about half in there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just dump it all in there. Then I'm going to mix the crab meat in. And because we're adding more than just the pasta, I am going to add some ranch dressing. Give me just a second. Okay, so this is just, I think it's actually Dollar Tree Ranch dressing, I believe, and I'm just going to add some of this to it because it does, we're adding more stuff to it, so it's going to need more than 
just mayonnaise and you can add however you much you want okay. okay next I'm going to add in my onion and my bell peppers remember the bell peppers are more for looks they'll give it a little bit of a sweet taste but just gonna chop this egg up really quickly there's no pretty way to do it just kind of get together and chop it up and try not to make a mess you can see it's not completely hard boiled it's a little soft boiled but it's fine it's all going to mix in the same we're going to add our egg thankfully Greg is holding the camera because I could not do this with one hand and we're going to add our halved olives and now we're going to mix this all together okay I've gone through and mixed that up so now I'm going to add my cheese cubes and I'm going to go ahead and mix those up in here so I'm going to use these McCormick bacon pieces. I'm going to mix those in. Okay, guys, I mix up the bacon bits. And, I mean, really, that's it. You can taste it at this point and add a little bit more salt and pepper to taste. You could add some, like, I have some New Orleans seasoning that I normally would add, add some spice. But because this is for work, I'm not going to add that to it. Um, you know, when you're in those kind of situations, sometimes it's easy, easier or better to not add the spice because some people can't handle certain amounts. What's spicy to me may not be spicy to someone else or vice versa. So this is it, guys. It's super easy. I really hope that, you know, the video is okay. It's really hard to do something like this with one hand. Greg did try to help a little bit, but we had company pop over. So again, this is it. This is my crab pasta salad. Um, and you really can put whatever you want to put in it. Um, you don't have to buy the box of pasta salad. Um, I have used tricolor rotinis. I've used a shell and then added ranch dressing and sour cream. So that's what we've done. So it, I hope you guys like the video. If you want to see more cooking videos and give the video a thumbs up, comment down below and let me know of any of your favorite pasta salads that you'd like to make. And I will see you guys later. Bye.